Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Where today, I would like to have another attempt with Lilith, because last time was a disaster, and this time around, I'm hoping to, to just, yeah, <laughs> to just not do that again. <laughs> For once, at the start of the run, I remember that I should take some damage here and there to try and get some extra familiars. And of course, to clear out an entire room of enemies that were in rather awkward positions. If I take 15 hits of damage, then I will spawn a new familiar, I do believe. So if we can find a temperance machine anywhere on this floor, then that would be something worth going for, since there is some half hearts on this floor as well. Um, sacrifice room might be a little bit too early at this stage, but still would be an interesting experiment to try and use a sacrifice room with one red heart container and see how that works out for me. However, I get the feeling that it probably wouldn't be the best idea I've ever had, so I might just say no to that idea for now. Was kind of hoping that I remembered how many times I would have to shoot those enemies there to make sure that uh, that would work out, but unfortunately I didn't. Otherwise, uh, it would have been a nice little thing to have to um, get that free key, but fair enough. We still have two keys available, so it's not the end of the world at the end of the day, but it still would have been nice for sure. This time around, I am simply just gonna try to go to the chest, and uh, after the chest, I suppose I can go um, maybe to Mega Satan, maybe Delirium, stuff like that, whatever comes my way at the end of the day, I suppose. With seven coins, I might as well check this out. There's a bomb in a soul heart. I'm tempted by the bomb, believe it or not. Because I wouldn't mind being able to get, like, a bunch of stuff in this room right here. And I think with one bomb, I'd be able to buy a second bomb. I might be able to blow up both of these rocks, actually if I place that bomb against the rock on the side. So I'm a little curious to try, but I should first check out my item room because there could also just be a bomb item in there and give me five bombs that way, and then I won't have to worry about it. Could also be Robo Baby 2.0, which isn't the worst or the best. It's, uh, it's at least another familiar, which is always a good time with this character, so I do not mind that at all, even if it is a little bit fiddly to use for sure. I don't immediately hate it, and hopefully I can place this bomb correctly to not ruin my day, but we shall see that in just a moment here, because I think if I place it here-ish, it'll probably break both of those other rocks. There we go. Can get that chest, ace of clubs, accidentally open that lock by uh, walking into it, so I guess what we're gonna do here is just uh, get a semi-free key over here. So at least I have a key available. And I might just try and see if my secret room is over here because I'm feeling good. Unfortunately, it was not a secret room that had uh, anything of value so far. Perhaps the flames will help me here. Three coins is enough to buy that one thing that was in the shop for three coins, which was a key. And you know what? I'll take it, I suppose. Not the worst thing in the world. We have an Ace of Club, so we can re replenish our bombs on the next floor as well. Health-wise, not looking too good, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? Still hoping for that Temperance Machine somewhere along the line. We get a regular basement too. And I uh, used my item immediately and realized that there's not actually enemies in that room, but I got a little excited. Usually in big rooms you get enemies, uh, and today we've gotten the same one twice, which is unusual for sure. Um, I'm just actually gonna turn those two <laughs> into bombs, because I zoned out and didn't know how to deal with those enemies at the time. So, you know what? That's two bombs. It's not the worst haul. Probably could have used it better in the room with the many flies in it. Uh, since it was quite a lot of flies, and it would have probably given me a fair amount of bombs as well. But I didn't, so we're just gonna have to learn to live with that one. I'm feeling okay that the uh, secret room is right here, so I'm just gonna use one of my two bombs. And fortunately it was, and we get Binge Eater. Which, uh, as we all know, is incredible. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm more tempted by my curse room right now. But not by a whole lot. If you can hear the rain in the background, my apologies, but if you can't hear it, then just imagine it's nice ambient noise for this playthrough. 
But Binge Eater is going to give us stat-ups whenever we need it. It can make all of our bad items good and just generally have a good time with it. Knockout Drops is not really good. Um, uh, so I'm just not going to take it. I'm sorry. Maybe another time when I'm playing as a character that... I'm feeling a bit more comfortable with, but the last time we played Lilith, I had just such a horrendous experience with it that I'm just gonna try and play it safe right now. I have taken a decent chunk of damage already. I'm losing all of my soul hearts, so we're just gonna play it cool, play it safe, and hope for the best right here. Uh, maybe I should be using that Robo Baby more often since it is a more reliable way to attack in certain directions, I suppose, and I can use it to attack rather safely as well, which is. Obviously a rather nice thing to have as well, but as you can see that clears out a room rather well when it's a room full of enemies that cannot physically attack me, so that helped out a bit. Gemini is not the worst thing in the world if we can just keep it in line with these two robo babies, then we can just deal oodles of damage to everyone. That would be lovely. They are champions, so they are split up from another. Uh, and there you go. That was a way to end up still getting a devil deal uh, and also take damage at the very end. I have zero money, but there is at least a red heart available in my boss room. So I'm a little bit tempted to go for the curse room and as such we will. Plus it's a little bit of extra damage to try and get that familiar. That is uh, so much good stuff. Tempted by contract from below, but simultaneously the speed up is probably gonna end up being better So I'm actually just gonna take some damage here And take that I'll take the wishbone as well because why not and End up with a large quantity of red health five coins, which if there's a soul heart in here that is worthwhile Unfortunately cannot get some more health from that, but that is okay. But yeah, Binge Eater is such a strong item. It, it can really make any run just so much better immediately because you, it's just so unlikely that you get something unusable. You just have to know that you're going to be using Red Hearts for the rest of the run and that can cause some danger with uh, regards to trying to get Angel Rooms and such. But other than that, I'm not particularly concerned about it. Getting all those stat ups, like we're gonna get some almost guaranteed damage. It depends on which health item we get, whether or not we're gonna get damage. But it, since there's gonna be so many items that are gonna turn into a health item, it's very likely that we're going to get um, damage up somewhere along the line. Hopefully, some tier rate as well would be lovely. But it definitely does not hurt. Might as well try and go for boss rush since we still have to do that. Maybe we can get hush out of the way as well. But I do need to be a little bit more careful because I am still taking just damage all over the place from the silliest things. Like that was an enemy that barely knows how to hit anything and still managed to get a decent hit off me there. So it is getting a little bit on the worrying side because if I take one more hit, then that is the end of my devil deal shenanigans. I would like, I was going to say, I would like to find a shopkeeper, but I think I'm just going to risk it. Uh, since I do have a bomb available after all. I do need to make sure not to take damage during this fight, but it is only peep. It could be worse. Uh, hoping for the best, but definitely not guaranteed just yet. Since peep can occasionally just ruin your day by jumping around all over the place, having the eyes be nasty or the tears just being a particularly nasty shape of damage, perhaps the creep, or maybe I can just run into a tear as well. There's many, many ways <laughs> you can ruin your opportunities there, so fair enough. That is going to be either a luck up or decrease of tear delay in my left eye. I'm not really sure if decreasing my tear delay in my left eye is going to affect me in any way when uh, playing as this character. Let's just blow all that up. Was willing to risk that damage just because I think uh, having a soul heart there it's nice that Tinted Rock was just something I really wanted to have. I will look for my item room before moving on. Apparently I had a health up pill in my hand as well. I'm not sure when I picked that up, but I'll take it, I suppose. And simply just going to move on. I will go for the curse room as well. Really, I can just go for just about anything here. Um, since there's still some health available on the floor. And I'm not too concerned. Also, that red chest could have been a teleportation to the Devil Deal or Angel Room as well. Angel Room, rather, I guess, in this particular case. And we have gotten a leech, which perfectly complements our Binge Eater build. So I don't mind that at all, since that is going to end up healing us whenever 
the leech manages to actually kill something. It is not going to be guaranteed that that happens, of course, but uh, whenever it happens, it'll happen. And it's just a little bit of extra health here and there, most likely. And I can appreciate that. This is a little bit awkward, especially with like Robo Baby 2.0 as well. It can be quite tricky to not have one of your familiars just kill someone by accident. So it's a little bit of a worry, but not the end of the world if it doesn't end up giving me health, I suppose. This is a little unfortunate. Maybe Robo Baby 2.0 can do anything. I guess maybe not. I don't really have the money to spend here, but I suppose I'll check it. Yeah, I'll actually just buy a bomb again because I really do need them. Probably shouldn't have picked up that soul heart immediately, but I'm not like super regretting it or anything. Let's just put you down over there and finish the job. We did end up getting a bomb back again. Like, Lemon Mishap, pretty much unusable right now, but Lunch, on the other hand, is a speed up right now, so I can appreciate that. My speed is almost maxed out at this stage. And we can enter the next floor with two Soul Hearts. So it's still decent odds to actually just being sort of a regular path to try and get all the key pieces at the end of the day. So that is looking okay. Do need to play it a little bit more carefully than I am so far, though, because, again, I am taking... Damage all over the place, and that might just ruin my angel room chances again. Luck down is unfortunate, but not the end of the world, since we currently don't have any luck effect for as far as I know anyway, so... I don't mind it too much, but I would rather avoid it, of course, in case we do get something good. And that is an Emperor card. I briefly saw it, but let's just pretend we didn't. I don't mind getting that, though, but... Maybe if we get flight or something in the angel room, that would be a lovely way to just go back and grab a bunch of extra stuff here and there. So let's see what we can get. So far, not loving the amount of consumables I got. I should have probably taken contract from below, really, because my coin count is abysmal. But what can you do? This is not looking too fun. Yeah, I'm very good at taking damage in this particular room, unfortunately. It doesn't help that I am the character that I am, I suppose, either. It does limit the amount of places where the secret room can be, at least, so that is quite nice. And that is either lard or dog food, and I will take the dog food because that is, once again, a damage up. Um, not sure where my secret room is, but I don't know if this was an option to the right over there. So far, it isn't anymore. Never mind. But at least, uh, yeah, our health situation is getting pretty ridiculous. I'm a little bit concerned about not having any space for soul hearts after a while at this rate, but other than that, things are looking all right. But that is a worry when, uh, when, well, when trying to get those angel rooms, of course, because that is an extra layer of protection that we will then not have, so little bit of a concern. I would like to find my secret room first, and there's so many places where it isn't that is concerning me. It could be here, I think. And it is over there. There is a shopkeeper and not much else here, unfortunately. Two coins not really worth going to the shop for, I suppose, so let's just move on. Bombino. Unfortunately, I have no way to give you any money because I simply have none. But we can probably just deal so much damage that it just ends the fight more or less immediately, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I will actually just take this. We didn't get a devil deal or an angel room there, which sucks because uh, that would have been a really nice thing to get there. But that does give us, I believe, a 100% chance on this floor. I moved on basically immediately just for the sake of trying to reach boss rush as well. So just trying to speed up the process a little bit. That's a judgment card. We're already at 100%, but if we take some damage, then it might be worthwhile. Otherwise, we can probably use it either on the next floor or the floor after that to more or less guarantee that last angel room. Do need to make sure that I get there with some bombs though, but that's really the only worry that I currently have. So things are looking okay on that front. A little concerned to go into that curse room right now, simply because of the amount of uh, soul hearts that I currently have. But that's okay. Maybe later we can go in. I wouldn't mind taking a little bit more damage throughout this run just so we can create some more familiars as well. But we'll see what we can get at the end of the day. That is a challenge room and not much else. That is an awkward enemy to try and fight quickly with this character, unfortunately. God, we are running so fast now, though. It is very nice to have all this movement speed available with any character, really. So, so far, eating large quantities of food has been very 
bountiful for sure. Not sure where my item room is. I feel like we're getting quite large floors as well, but I might just be accidentally going in the right direction a lot and it just makes it feel a lot bigger than it actually is. Hoping that the leech is doing some work here, but unfortunately it went to a second phase. Shot speed, Shot speed up. up. Not terrible, I suppose. It does make aiming a little bit easier in the long run. There went my black heart though, and I don't love that. Another Emperor card. I'm actually just going to take this, even though I shouldn't have known what kind of card it was. Um, although Judgment is... I'm just actually just going to use it. Uh, because I wouldn't mind doing that. I guess I probably shouldn't have used this immediately, but simultaneously I don't hate it too much. I'm actually just going to grab this. Uh, just because Gish does take a year and a half to destroy, unfortunately, so I don't actually mind having some extra damage available for this. Just to save myself some unhappiness in the end of the day. Not sure what I should go for in terms of reward here, because I would like to have like at least three soul hearts available, but I don't love Gish that much. I mean, this is a decent item like combined with being the character that I am, I suppose. And that is two angel statues, so that does change things a bit. Uh, I'm actually just gonna take this and just set fire to the angels probably, or at least the second one. Just because it does speed up the fight a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, I mean, we're not going to get any charges for this or active item right now anyway, simply because uh, angels don't give you charges for that. So that's not really a concern, I suppose. But it is nice that we're going to get a full key at the end of this. So that is looking pretty damn good. That is our flamethrower charged up a bit. So that is nice. Let's just use it to our maximum potential since it does clear out a lot of the angel at the end of the day. It does deal a decent amount of damage. Plus every time we kill an enemy we can just do a little bit more as well. It does make it kind of a more reliable way of attacking I suppose just because I don't have to use the familiar to actually do an attack and that is quite nice. But simultaneously we're Lilith we should just be using our familiar from time to time. Alright so that's at least a full key completed. It means we can start taking devil dealers as well which is obviously a really nice thing to get. Uh, simply due to the fact that it's uh, we have some way to spend a lot of our, our red hearts that we're going to get regardless anyway. Our Polaroid is going to be fairly ineffective, unfortunately, this time around. Uh, but we'll have to just be okay with that, I suppose. I kind of want to find my item, but I don't really want to spend all day looking for it, unfortunately. Because we are running a bit out of time here. I'm not loving that. We still had that... Um, Emperor card for the next floor, then that would have made it a little bit more likely that we wouldn't be in trouble, but we are getting pretty close to our limit here. But fortunately, we did end up finding it. It was the last possible place it could be, unfortunately, but that's the way it is when you're looking for stuff at the end of the day, I suppose. But this is going okay. Unfortunate to find a boss there. Uh, I'll actually take that. Still, n I'm never quite certain if this item works. We've been getting retrovision a lot lately. I don't know what is up with that, and I do not care for it. <laughs> it is not a fun item to play around with. It is a waste of everyone's eyes, and I don't care for it. But that's the way it is. Let's just go quickly onwards to the next floor. Probably just going to get an angel room again, since we do have a full key right now, and that does give you more chance of an angel room at the end of the day but that'll be okay I'm saving the judgment card for now until I have a vague idea where my secret room could be this I don't love I'm actually I'm stuck in a hole genuinely didn't see it <laughs> just gonna let the robo baby do the work here actually so I don't have to bother with that stupid statue right there that is a s item room that's very nice two shots I don't hate two shot but our luck is pretty terrible Hopefully that's going to end up working out. And that is a shop. This is awful. Okay. That is not looking good for our Devil Deal chances right there. But you know what? Fair enough. Um, I think my secret room might... No, it's not over there. Never mind. In that case, no greed. That's good. Let's just Judgment. blow both of you up with one bomb. Might as well take this Ace of Clubs. That's not bad for our current situation since our bomb count is so low the entire time. However, I'm a little bit concerned about where we have to go um, because I don't really have a frame of reference where I'm supposed to be going, unfortunately. 
Uh, no mapping at all. This could be really anyone's game about whether or not this is the right direction. Although the fact that there's a big room there makes me feel a little bit more confident that this is probably going to be the right direction. I can use this Ace of Clubs over here to just get rid of whatever comes our way. That's a golden troll bomb. Always good time. Many golden bombs, but zero anything of value, unfortunately. So that's unfortunate. Didn't see a tinted rock. I didn't look that hard for it either. Hopefully these spikes are just going to deal with most of this as well. I do see the cursed eye appear from time to time, so that is nice that so that is at least working out. And there is the boss room. So that gives us some options for the boss rush as well. We haven't quite lost our devil deal yet, so that's good, but our health is getting there. Um, Leech doing his best to heal as much as possible with all those tiny creatures right there. This Leech is so strong with something like this in a red heart build because you just end up healing so much from that as well. Which is wonderful. Let's just try and blow this up for good measure. Let's try and hit this once. Nope, neither of those. Well, fair enough. Let's go. I'm actually just going to use the box immediately, even though it is really, really strong during the boss rush. Uh, we will just be able to recharge that during the boss rush as well. And uh, hopefully that'll be okay. Plus, I just want to try and guarantee our highest possible chance of that angel room. And for that, I can get hit exactly once. And I would like to avoid that as much as possible for obvious reasons. The foot is stamping down in a nice way, so that's working out at least. It's not being too dangerous. Never really combining with anything else very well, so that is wonderful. Unfortunately, didn't get anything there, but that's fair enough. Let's take the Polaroid. Um, okay, that's interesting, uh, because I don't, I don't really know if this works, but if it does, well, we're going to learn today. Uh, let's see if that is going to give us just a stupid amount of creatures in this room, because I think that would be hilarious. Uh, bombs are good. I should remember I have golden bombs right now, because some of these bosses are just going to get insta-killed by these bombs as well. I picked up the Eternal Heart a little bit prematurely, I suppose, but I, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I have enough Red Hearts to not worry about life too much at the end of the day. There we go. Not sure if that duplicated the other ones. I don't think it did. Which, it would make it just stupid, but I mean, it would at the same time be really, really fun if it did duplicate just all the babies created by that. <laughs> yeah, that went the Eternal Heart. That's no worry, though. Let's just try and get that creature to... Nah. I was going to say, maybe try to get them to attack each other, but they're not really working with me right now. So that's unfortunate. There's already a lot of red hearts on this room as well, from the bosses that we have destroyed so far. The leech healing up a bit here and there as well, which is lovely. It's a surprising look. Didn't ex actually expect that to be the brimstone attack there. The damage is not that impressive. It's, uh, it's a little unfortunate for sure. Obviously, it's only going to increase the more phases we do in this boss rush right here, but it is kind of a rough start for sure. But we're getting through it. Every two waves, we can use our box of friends again and therefore just end up with a lot more friends that way in general. Even if we can't quite duplicate everything in the room, it is still duplicating the ones that are chasing me, so... Things are dying quick enough at the end of the day, and that's what's important. These bosses are not really much of an issue either, especially when the leech apparently manages to just kill a bunch of stuff there, so that's nice. I uh, would like it if Monster 2 worked with me a little bit here. Uh, hoping that Monster 2 can really just kill the mask or something, because I feel like that would just make life a lot easier. But I am pretty much just focusing on him right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I think he did some damage to him. Simultaneously, uh, yeah, the mass is already dead. The mass was clearly not the problem during that fight. In terms of trying to get through this as quickly as possible, so we can reach Hush later, hopefully, as well. Uh, wave 7 out of or 8 out of 15, rather. I mean, we are virtually indestructible. We have uh, Dark Bums, <laughs> plural. <laughs> That's where that Ace of Diamonds came from, and I don't hate that. We'll actually just grab that. And there is also another Eternal Heart there, so we can still heal up as well. That is wonderful. That went very quick. How are you still alive? We just barely out of range of everything. And uh, yeah, now that we are getting into later stages of this boss rush, it is getting pretty swift. We just have a wall of attacks right now, and that is wonderful. 
The leeches are just destroying everything as well, so that's wonderful. Can you just brimstone them? That would be lovely. Let's just lure out some of those brimstone attacks so we can really destroy those other bosses in the room. Did not mean to pick up that eternal heart just yet, but fair enough. I don't really mind if we have one less red heart container at the end of this floor, I suppose, so... I will just continue to run into everything and hope for the best. <laughs> As clearly it is working out reasonably well. 13 out of 15. Should not use this card just yet in case it's telepills and that would kind of ruin everything, so... Just gonna leave that alone. Two waves remain. Would be nice if he could just brimstone the other... the Ragman there, but Ragman is more or less just gonna insta-die here anyway, so that's fine. There's another Eternal Heart there? There's been a lot of Eternal Hearts during this fight. But fair enough, I suppose. That's what the game wants to do, and that is what the game wants to do. Retrovision again. Very nice. Always a good time. Immaculate Conception. Very good. Verp. Um, Alright, so Ace of Diamonds. That's pretty good, obviously. Juicy Sack. I'll take it. Um, and I'll take the Soul Heart as well. And with that, we shall leave. Hopefully we can make it to Hush. That would be lovely, but I'm not expecting it. It's it's kind of rough when trying to do all these things at once, and their build isn't that good. Like, it's fine, but it's not really doing any damage for the most part, which is concerning me a little. Uh, plus, then you have rooms like this where I'm just spending a year on a dead end. Uh, having no mapping at all is also making this rather rough in general. We have a Scarred Womb to deal with. Didn't really get much in, in terms of Angel Rooms and Devil Deals, like so far all of our followers are just from, uh, well, from bosses, I guess, partially, but also from just taking large quantities of damage here and there. I'm a little bit concerned about the Dark Bomb in one way, just because it means that we're just going to get less Red Hearts in general, as uh, the Dark Bomb is just going to pick up everything here, which is obviously not a bad thing at all, but it's... Uh, does mean I can be a little bit less silly with the amount of damage I'm taking here. Kind of surprised that wasn't anything. If you could just take all three of those, that would be lovely. Let's just go back in this room. Hopefully get a black heart. Nope, two pills. Tears up, not bad. I can see forever. Also not immediately terrible. It did get us the item that has pretty much made this build work, so I'm, I guess I'm pretty happy about that. Um, that's so damn strong. I don't know. Like, combined with... Like, we'll lose out on Box of Friends, but it is so much health. Yeah, I kind of have to, I suppose. That's kind of unfortunate. That we lose out on the Box of Friends that way, but simultaneously... We have gotten most of the use out of the Box of Friends at this stage anyway. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Pretty much lost our Devil Deal, unfortunately, but... Um, yeah, the, the thing is, like, we we have gotten uh, the boss rush done, and that's really where that item shines so much. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take the red hearts, sure. It's a little bit of extra damage for the remainder of this floor as well, so that's quite lovely. Would be nice if we could get, like, one more... Um, soul Heart or something like that for the next floor, but... Other than that... We'll just have to call it a day. I guess I, I have Guppy's Paw, so I can definitely create some Soul Hearts for the next floor as well, so... We should be good on that front. I think we're going in the right direction, but... Womb floors are big, and that is an unfortunate reality... ...that we're gonna have to learn to deal with, uh, because... ...it just might make it a little bit less likely that we can make it to Hush, unfortunately, but... ...we'll do our best. Wheel of Fortune. Don't really care too much. Skolex. Do not care about that at all. But Tiny Brim appearing over there is actually rather convenient. Since we can at least kind of lure it into this boss right here. So that is kind of nice. The, the boss, of course, being Little Brim. That's what I meant with luring it into the boss. Uh, obviously, <laughs> that's how people speak. But uh, so far, so good. We have a 20% chance of the door opening, which isn't immediately terrible. Ah, there you go. Uh, we'll leave you for a minute. That is... Um, a bunch of nothing, really. But I will take the two health items. We will no longer get angel rooms, but that's fine. Um, and I might as well just try to... Mm, 
I don't know if I want to try to uh, get one more devil deal or not, or if I just want to go for it. Because I wouldn't mind just having as much health as possible for, like, uh, Hush and possibly later bosses as well. And for that, I may need to not use my items. But simultaneously, I guess I could also just take the health item when I reach the uh, Hush floor as well. Finally used that Ace of Diamonds in a particularly big room, and it was filled to the brim with enemies, so... Not too dissatisfied about that. I'm actually just gonna use Guppy's Paw exactly once. Perhaps I'll use it again if need be, but... I think hopefully we should be good, but it seems like we're going in the right direction as well, judging from how far we've traveled already. And that does make reaching Hush a lot more viable. Charged key, there it was. Unfortunately not usable for the item that we have, because we have an active item that doesn't require a recharge, but still. Nice to know it exists, I suppose. Give me a black heart, nope. An actual enemy. There was a tinted rock in that room, I just realized. I don't really need to get it, but we could get the small rock, and that would be kind of nice. Uh, that's a good way to take damage. Just walk into creep. Why not? But let's destroy you. It is once. It is a really big floor. <laughs> it's a good thing we're going in the right direction, because it's, it's just always as... Well, more often than not, it is as far away as possible from the start of the floor where the um, boss room ends up being and uh, when you go a long distance and it is very likely that you're going in the wrong or uh, the right direction rather but it can be a little rough when you're trying to get somewhere in time because you can also just have like four different directions that you can go into and then accidentally pick the right one and just call it a day very quickly afterwards they're really just trying to use that little brim that just spawned in a wonderful location there to not worry about life so much no Devil deal, but we got this. And technically, we could get to a point where we can start using Polaroid with Guppy's Paw as well. That is a big technically, but it is... it's true. It is, at the end of the day, the truth. So that is kind of wonderful. Um, this trinket is probably better than what I currently have, so I'll take that. Dry Baby is the conjoined transformation, so I don't hate that. And one of the others is a damage up. What do we have in this direction? We have another uh, conjoined transformation. <laughs> possibly, possibly a better one, just because it deals a little bit more damage, but I don't mind the defense of the Dry Baby at the end of the day, so I'll just take that. Kind of hard to avoid conjoined in a way like this, but it, we didn't really lose that much damage anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Uh, what we have over here, we have, um... Uh, we could take Poke Go, I guess. Although I wouldn't mind just having the damage up either. I think I'll just take the damage ups, actually, because it will just have me be extra powerful at the start of the Hush fight as well. I'm actually taking both immediately, even though it may seem a little silly, just because of that temporary damage bonus that we do end up getting. Hide behind the dry baby there and just uh, shoot forward for a bit, really. The dry baby's gonna do a little bit of extra damage every now and then as well. Clear out whatever flies may spawn. Surprised it actually managed to hit me, but fair enough. But we are in a pretty good situation in terms of whether or not we're going to survive this, so I'm not too bothered with how this is going. Tempted to go just directly for Delirium after this, just to get that out of the way, but... I'm just gonna risk it, I think. I wouldn't mind uh, just doing more of a regular run, I suppose. Dry Baby is actually being really good for this, as it turns out. I mean, it shouldn't be a real surprise, I suppose, that Dry Baby blocks tears, but still, it's doing it surprisingly well is more the thing, given how tiny it is. Would have been nice if we got the item that increases the size and power of our followers, but that was simply not to be. And there we go. Finally getting that conjoined damage in there as well, which is wonderful. Apparently Gish slowed him down a little bit, so all the tears are really slow right now. And I don't mind that. Pretty much just maximizing our damage right now. Our tier rate is horrendous. <laughs> it is pretty much just a very standard tier rate right now, and I don't care for it much. Should probably try to destroy all these flies, but... Can only do so much. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, never mind. Uh, the leech is actually killing all the flies and healing me with it, so that is good. I recently got a picture of where you're supposed to stand with uh, this attack, and it's like uh, 
effectively a, a, a chess knight's movement away from his face or something like that. I don't fully... Clearly I'm not doing it perfectly because I just got hit there, but there are some locations where you can just stand and pretty realistically never take any damage, so it is good to know things like that. Uh, Leech, can you please... I'm just gonna let you do some work there. Hopefully you can actually end up getting some kills in there, heal me up a little bit. I'm just actually gonna help out a little bit here as well because it is... Uh, not doing a great job, <laughs> simply put. It did end up healing me a little bit there, so I shouldn't be too mad about the whole situation. I guess Dry Baby is also helping out and not getting hit right now, so that is wonderful. Hopefully this isn't going to do any damage to me. And occasionally getting those full screen effects to happen is quite nice as well. I was kind of hoping I could get away with doing that, because uh, it looked like I might have been able to if I was lucky, but unfortunately it was not to be. But I wouldn't mind uh, getting some Tyre in the chest for sure, because it, it is getting a weird, consistent thing that I just don't get Tyre anymore, and I don't care for it. It is not improving the quality of my builds. <laughs> it really just makes them a lot worse, so, yeah. Having said that, this build is by no means bad or anything, it's just it could be so much better if my Tyre rate was twice as high. <laughs> Even pretty much took all the pills and never got anything negative from them either, just... Retrovision, I guess. There we go. That is the end of this fight. We got Incubus in the basement. I didn't actually know that was an unlockable, but I'm happy that we got it. And we'll take... That's Tears Up, is it? Huh. Well then, that's probably going to be the one that I want, because that's the thing that I want. Damage Up might still end up being a little bit better at the end of the day, but... Uh, it's fine. We got this already for the conjoined transformation, so... With the Polaroid, let's go up, not down. <laughs> we still have a way to continue this run to the chest and onwards, so it would be nice to not accidentally like touch a door or anything silly. As if I would ever do that, of course, but wow, that one died instantly. Actually a little confused what destroyed him so quickly there, but I'll take it. Might have was it a flame or something? I don't feel like that was me. Like <laughs> that's the thing. I would, I would be able to explain it if it was me that did so much damage, but I don't think I'd feel that much, do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I am just really, really strong. I would do it. Dark Bum unfortunately not being as useful anymore, but I guess he will end up being useful once I uh, start eating these Red Heart containers, so that could end up being good. Um, <laughs> I actually cannot take this Eternal Heart. <laughs> That's an interesting problem to have. Um, so, yeah, fair enough, I guess. That's really weird. I don't think I've ever seen that I wasn't able to pick up an Eternal Heart before, but I guess that's a thing. Genuinely didn't know. Alright. Um, so much for that. Should I...? I'm just gonna go into the curse room. Hope for the best. That's a lot of black hearts. That's a lot of soul hearts. Maybe I should just go for that, but eh. Don't really have a reason to. Oh, we got another friend as well. We got the uh, Abaddon baby, I think his name is, so that's fun. Kind of need to be in awkward positions to use him, but at the end of the day, it's getting some work done, so I don't mind it too much. Should grab every key I can get, I guess, because my key count is uh, not great. It's not terrible. It's not great. And we are having a lot of tears shoot at everything, so really, I'm not too bothered with how things are going. Rooms like this are also quite nice if you are aware of them quick enough, because then the room doesn't actually do anything. But once again, I do feel like the movement speed is helping me out quite a lot for stuff like that as well. Max movement speed is such an underrated thing to have, for sure. Even if it can feel a little uncontrollable at times, it does mean that you can clear certain rooms with relative ease without really facing any difficulties, and that is just so nice. Need to watch out for that stone, but otherwise everything is more or less dying by itself. Conjoined is so good. I love conjoined so much. It really does simplify so much in terms of trying to hit things. Because you just sort of shoot in a direction and hope for the best, and for this character I feel like that's just so useful. So I do not mind it. Go to a couple of flies that aren't going to do anything because I don't have an active item that requires charges. Might as well look for my seeker room here, I suppose. And I feel like this is not a terrible option. There we go. 
Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, that is a little bit more tier 8, so I will take that. And plus it gives us a little bit of extra damage during the Isaac fight. It's not a lot. Most of it's already going to have run out. Well, not most of it, but a decent chunk of it is going to have run out by the time the fight starts. But look at this damage. I should probably be using the dry baby here because I need to just sort of stand next to him like this and it'll all work out wonderfully. There we go. Already in the third phase, no worries at all. Good times were had indeed. That was a couple of hits there that I probably should be a little bit more wary of. There is two Eternal Hearts waiting for me at the end of this, so I can at least heal up a little bit after fighting here. And of course I could just take the health items at the start of the chest as well and heal up that way. But I wouldn't mind to uh, just heal a little bit in general without having to resort to using the items for it. So let us go. What unlocks when you do that? I don't fully remember. Rune bag? That's not bad. That is a nice thing to have for sure. The door to Mega Satan has opened. Uh, 2020 isn't really what it used to be anymore. This is the tears up, so I'll take that. We are getting pretty damn good tiers at this rate. Would like to have one food item available before we start the fight there. Yeah, that minus 25% damage is getting to a point where that is actually an issue, unfortunately. Plus, I'm not really sure how well it works with, uh, with what we have right now anyway, so... What we're gonna do instead is just take that and just start going in a direction, I suppose. Might as well. I do miss my box of friends a little bit for stuff like this, I suppose, because it is a lot of bosses that we're going to be fighting here, but yeah, fair enough. Meat Cleaver could be fun, but I think I like damage even more. Not sure if I should have taken that immediately or should have been more conservative, but it doesn't really matter at this stage, does it? My damage is getting up there for sure. We are shooting oodles of tears. Sometimes we just have a bunch of teeth coming out instead. I guess with three tears coming out of us every time, we are probably shooting more teeth as well, because seemingly they seem to be coming from all different directions, so that's nice. Uh, the boss actually dropped the uh, item there. I don't think we have the other Lord of the Flies item, so I'll just take the tears up and the damage up and all that good stuff instead. This is such a ridiculous item. <laughs> if you get it early on in a run, you just get so many stat-ups. It's just so nice to have every item be at least kind of okay. Like, we have gotten to the point where the only sort of bad thing we could get is the speed up item because we're maxed out on it. And uh, as such, it would only heal us a little bit. And that is not a bad situation to be in for sure. Don't mind that at all. The leech is healing us from time to time. The 25 cents is going to be kind of good as well. And it's a damage up as well, so... Once again, the damage is 20 now whenever we uh, pick up a health item, so that's pretty damn good. With the high tier rate as well, Yera. Kinda wish I hadn't opened up those four chests at the start now, but what are you gonna do? Can't really expect the Yera rune at all times. Oh, you could, I guess, but I never do. I just like opening chests, I get excited. It's just a fun time. Should probably kill Sloth last, but I was clearly shooting him continuously throughout that, throughout that entirely, so... Really, that was on me, I guess, at the end of the day, but... It would have still been kind of nice, for sure. I'm not sure where my secret room is, actually, but... I know where my super secret room is. That was wrong. I genuinely don't know where any room is. I could just try bombing a couple places since we got golden bombs anyway, but I don't really feel like spending the time on really actively looking for stuff right now. I'd rather just try and make it to the end. Let's kill you last. Nope. <laughs> Let's kill you then and hope you get the Mr. Boom. Yeah, there you go. That is exactly what I was asking for. And that was working out wonderfully. <sighs> it is nice. Compared to the previous Lilith run, I feel like this is going a little better. Both in terms of... Well, the items we were getting in that previous run weren't even that bad. It's just... Oh, that's a lie. I picked up terrible things <laughs> the last time that I played as Lilith. 
And this time there just weren't that many terrible things to pick up because everything had an alternative that was good. And that does help out quite a bit in the long run, I suppose. I really hope we get a Lilurian portal. That would just be so nice to get everything out of the way as this character. We haven't gotten none so far, so at least in terms of, um, well, things that don't work that way, that feels kind of good at least. I'm trying to think of the word, but I can't quite think of it. When you just believe something to be true because of silly reasons. I don't, don't worry about it. Yes, greed again. How many times do we have to teach you a lesson, greed? I'm done with this nonsense, but... There is the blue baby. I feel fairly confident that we're probably going to win this fight against the blue baby, at least. Things are going all right so far. Let's hide behind our dry baby. Uh, I was going to say, you know, let's hide behind a dry baby. It doesn't really work out. Zero portals so far, strangely enough. Genuinely quite surprised by that, but I'll take it. Hopefully we'll get one during Mega Satan. If not, you know, I had a good time. So I'm not really too bothered at the end of the day. Hopefully we can get at least one more chest, though. I kind of want to use this Yara somewhere, and I, uh, didn't. I did not. So, hopefully you can just drop me, like, just one more chest. Maybe seven. That's all I'm really asking for. I guess I could look for a super secret room if I don't get one here. Uh, but it will take a minute. Yeah, there you go. We do have infinite bombs, so I should probably at least try. Uh, but I just don't really know where to even begin. I, there's a couple of rooms where it could be, but th there's so many rooms where it could be, realistically. And I will try all of them, because I want to duplicate some more chests. It is a chest. It's not like I have anything better to use it on, I guess. <laughs> um... Oh no. <laughs> oh jeez, that's Guppy right there. I mean, I kind of gotta. But I do think that I should probably uh, just do that real quick. Just take all of that. But that is the Guppy transformation, and I do kind of need to do that, I suppose. At least we'll have a pretty decent amount of red hearts available, uh, because we can still pick up these. But it is... <laughs> I mean, I can't say no to that. It's been so long since I've last gotten guppies. So I might as well have some fun with it, you know? Plus, it's not like I'm particularly worried about losing this fight at this stage either, so... It's fair enough. It, it, if all else fails, we can at least try and get the Polaroid effect to start activating as well, so that's nice. We are shooting a large amount of tears. This gives us flight as well, so the creep doesn't bother me as much. Which is, uh... Usually a bit of a worry about this fight for me, so I'm not too bothered about that either. There is a lot of creepy folks in this particular fight after all. And it can get quite spooky, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not particularly scared right now, I suppose, with how this fight is going. Uh, we've gotten hit like twice, mostly because I didn't bother to dodge tears. And other than that, we, it's, it's just a good time for everyone involved. I'm having a great day. I hope y'all are too. <laughs> Let's have the dry baby to just do as much defense work here as possible. Let's see how much damage we can realistically take by sitting just right in next to him. <laughs> hopefully we're dealing some damage here. I'm not really seeing any fly spawn, but they're hopefully just running into the boss immediately and not just not spawning. Because that would be a disappointment if we're not getting any flies to spawn. However... No, okay, they we're definitely spawning flies. Okay, that's good. I was genuinely a little concerned there, but it's okay. Mega Satan was just sitting there for a minute like, should I even bother? Should I even attack at this point? Because quite frankly, I've had better days. But there you go. Please, 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 please. Ah, wonderful days. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of build. We got Cambian Conception, Big Baby. That's obviously much better than Cambian Conception, but still not too disappointed at the end of the day, I suppose. But that's so good. We can try to find a couple bosses before we go into the Delirium fight as well, so we can really maximize our health, but I feel fairly confident that this will be okay. 
Uh, provided I don't just run into the... I mean, even if I, like, die, I have dead cats, so I'll just leave the delirium fight. And then I can look for other bosses as well. So it, it, nothing nothing matters. <laughs> it's is the final conclusion of the story. Nothing matters anymore. Shot speed down, that matters slightly, I guess. A world card would be nice. I'm actually just gonna check. Alright, it's delirium. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's actually just try to reach uh, Polaroid whenever we can, because that's just a nice thing to have. And then I can also just run into Delirium a lot, which is quite nice. So far, things are going okay. We are spawning so many flies. And the uh, bug has happened again, because of course it has. <laughs> As it happens with 90% of Delirium fights, once again, many hearts have now spawned in the battlefield. Someone pointed out the other day that Bombino doesn't even have a Delirium form. And I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's just Bombino hanging out, and I can kind of appreciate it. Occasionally he just appears. I don't even know what hit me there exactly, but you know what? I think we're fine. I think I can get away with just face tanking the rest of this fight, honestly. Provided he doesn't get forms like this where it's just waiting for him to turn back into something hittable again. Oh, little plum. My best friend. Perhaps we can get a couple of black hearts as well from the dark bum from the many red hearts that are still here and there. But I mean, look, look at how little damage I'm taking with this Polaroid and how much Delirium is taking, even though I'm more or less in his face the entire time. Like, it's... It's just a pretty rough time to be Delirium right now. <sighs> and I don't mind it. I don't mind any time a Delirium fight isn't horrendous because the blue baby Delirium was uh, was a bit much. It was a little unfortunate for sure. And I don't mind not having that experience as much as possible. But there you go. Don't even really need to explore the rest of this Delirium floor because quite frankly, we've done everything we need to do. At most, we'd be able to find a secret room with an R key in it. I kind of don't hate that, so you know what? Let's just enjoy this build for a little bit longer. It's unlikely that we're going to find a secret room anywhere, I suppose, but maybe one of the bosses can drop secret room items? I actually don't know exactly what item pools they draw from um, in this particular item room, uh, boss room thing, because you just get a bunch of everything. Like, that just seems like an item room item, so it's possible that that's the only pool? I'm actually not 100% sure at all if it can just be anything or not. Would be nice. Getting an R key right now would really just make my day for sure. Uh, then we might as well just do Mother as well or something like that, since we've already done so much other stuff. And, uh, is that really the only thing we have left? No, it's... <laughs> right. I do still need to go to the lamb at some point with this character because of uh, previous attempts that didn't go quite according to plan. But still, even if this run ends up just ending here, I'm gonna say that I don't mind it. I'm gonna say that things are going rather swimmingly. And uh, that I would like to have more runs like this because it is a very effective way of clearing out a large quantity of things. Also, it's just nice to get Lilith out of the way. I'm just, I'm very clearly not very good with this character. <laughs> um, because I am just running into everything, trying to aim my shots in the way that I'm used to, and I end up just taking loads of damage instead. So having a run like this definitely doesn't hurt. Not even picking up that soul heart, because there's no reason to. Eh, where we go? Might as well go south from this point, I suppose. This is a fun build, though. Even though it, it's not even, like, visually that impressive, but it is... It's just a large quantity of tears, and then also guppy. <laughs> uh, I cannot believe that the two red chests in a super secret room in the chest gave me the remaining parts of the guppy transformation. Like, that is just ridiculous. Let's just take this, uh, this right now, because it has shown up again. And that surprises me a little, if I'm being honest. I didn't expect to see that item again there, but... Fair enough, I suppose. Kind of a shame that we end up not getting the... Oh, nice. Fair enough. No R key for us so far. But yeah, kind of surprising that we ended up getting that item twice. Um, especially here, but that does kind of increase the amount of item pulls that we're talking about here. But I, do, I think I'm going to look into whether or not it gives secret room items after this, because otherwise... Uh, 
I mean, there's no real point, I suppose, to do this other than just the fun of playing around with the particularly powerful build at times. Maybe we can find a gulp pill here and five more trinkets. Friends till the end, unfortunate. And just quickly unlock marbles, that would be nice as well. But that'll happen when it happens. It is probably something I should actively try to be striving for because it is just a nice unlock in general. Since having trinket effects just be consumed into your body at times is just a really nice thing to have. So I might try to go for that a bit more actively next time. Uh, anytime I see Polaroid, I should probably be going for it. But it, it, uh, there's so many factors, unfortunately, <laughs> to that statement at the end of the day. Like if we just... I said Polaroid, I meant um, placebo. Like, first of all, you need to get placebo, then you need to get a gulp pill, then you need to use the gulp pill with placebo as well. It's, it's a lot, it's a big mess. There's a lot of trinkets on this floor for sure, though. Sometimes you find placebo, but you can't afford it, like, stuff like that. There's so many reasons why a run wouldn't take placebo. But I think the main reason, most likely, is I already had an active item at the time. Let me just take that. I uh, just had a thought. <laughs> Just had a thought, what if there's a sacrifice room on this floor? I don't know if that's even possible, but it would be really fun. I'm fairly sure there isn't because we've realistically explored most of the floor already. Ooh, what's that? Are you actually serious? That's disgusting. That's absolutely absurd. Oh my god. <laughs> I, okay, well, I guess I don't need to look up whether or not this is possible anymore, but that is just unnecessary. I mean, I'll take it, obviously, but it's still... I cannot actually believe that. That is so good. I mean, this is, this, this is what you want to see. This is what you want to see. Tower. It's kind of a shame that we're going to end up with uh, a red heart in the end of the day, I suppose, but... God. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just put this over here. And then also take this. Um, I could, I guess, just keep the two souls of Isaac. Uh, is that is there a point to that? I don't think there really is. Yeah, I'll take the damage up. I kind of need more damage after all. All right. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, to Mother, I guess, because that's what we need. I guess I probably should have kept that. How does this work? Oh, it doesn't. I mean, it gave me more tier rate. I th no. It feels like I got more tier rate for sure, but I'm not sure if I actually did get more tier rate there. Oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is just so much. Uh, what's this day, guys? I'll keep that for now. Could get five bombs there. I don't really need to look for items at this stage. I could just rush the mother, cause qu quite frankly. Other than maybe getting one more R key after we defeat mother, I think I think we're good. I guess that's a good enough motivation to just try and look for secret rooms as well, but... Other than that, I don't really need anything. I wouldn't mind a devil deal, I guess, somewhere in this run. <laughs> yeah, devil deals would be nice. Let's just take that. Because then at least I have something to spend all these hearts on that I'm inevitably going to get, and then we can still use Polaroid. It doesn't matter. Euthanasia for killing a delirium. That is a nice thing to get out of the way for sure. It is a it's a really good item, actually. Because um, it does have some neat effects where it can kill certain enemies that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to kill. No, that is just really nice. We have nine lives, so even the lost section of this isn't even going to be a problem. Unless we get, like, a particularly terrible item, I suppose, which... I guess I could just use Degas. I did just get it, after all. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep moving on. Rainmaker, more like nope. More like no maker. Uh... <laughs> I see. Soul of Isaac. Sister Maggie? Well, you know, I got to have Sister Maggie of all items. But unfortunately, I picked up the wrong thing by accident. And it doesn't look that impressive, unfortunately. This might actually be worse than what I had. 
But I think I'm still gonna get away with it somehow. I don't know. I feel like since my damage is 20, I feel like I can get away with a couple things here and there. There's just something about it that just makes me feel, yeah, you know what? This'll work. Yeah. We're not even taking a full hearted damage because we're not in that part of the game yet. How nice is that? We have so many followers. <laughs> um, I'll take that. What is this again? Deep pockets. We could get a whole bunch of money instead. And it's going to drop money all the time as well when nothing drops. So that can be kind of good, I suppose. Anytime you won't see a drop, you'll inst instead see like, um, what is it? Like three coin drops, I believe. Three random coin drops. Uh, I'll take synth oil. Uh, yeah, I'll take the damage up. Bad PhD, probably not going to take that, but I'll take the... Whatever startup that is, my range is 32, which is an interesting amount for a range to be. Especially when you got brimstone and you reach the end of every room anyway. Ooh, that looks cool though. I no longer mind getting my kind of wimpy looking brimstone now that we have a cool looking brimstone instead. Definitely don't mind that. Where's my secret room? Uh, it could be down here, I guess. We could try to like preserve health and stuff and all that silly business, but... You could also just find a random trap door by killing an enemy that holds the rocks for me, so... You know, um, there's options. Uh, yeah, just random items just in a trap door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Struggling to actually pick it up, of course, but you know, it's, just, it's a luck up. Oh, we're not gonna have teeth anymore. I actually kind of regret taking Brimstone. Uh, I'll take this. Secretly, I knew it was going to be a health up because I waited for the other one to turn into a health up. Did I... Um, did I actually go back to that item room after using the gas? <laughs> oh god, alright, don't worry about it. This, uh, this is all part of the plan. This is all fine, actually. Uh, let's just go and bomb into our secret room that we... Okay, I was gonna say, we could have opened that if it was there. And not taken damage on the way out. But fortunately, my secret room is nowhere, so that ends up making life a little easier in that regard. I guess it's next to my challenge room, probably. It's a boss challenge room, which you can tell because it's red. Uh, so that could be good. Please, no monsters. Good. Hmm. That's getting closer to the spun transformation. Uh, didn't even have time to shoot. Because uh, I messed up my charge. But then flies killed him. Shouldn't have done that, because now I have to walk all the way back to the... To the torch, and the torch is all the way over here. With torch, of course, I mean white flame, but it's similar. <laughs> yeah, it's similar. That's, yeah, sure. Alright, am I gonna bother with. Okay, that was. I'm happy that doesn't change you back automatically. That would have been a silly way to spend even more time on this floor that I don't need to. Uh, whoops. Took a hit there, but that's fine. Nothing can really bother me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I might as well do Rainmaker one more time just for the sake of trying to get the, um, the whatchamacallit, the uh, spun transformation or something like that. God, look at this nonsense. It is, it is kind of nice to have a run like this from time to time, but asking for an Archie and actually getting one, I feel like at that point a, a devil will come for me at some point. <laughs> this isn't even Rainmaker, I thought it was. But you know what? I've had a good life, so at the end of the day, I'm not really too concerned about it, I suppose. Either way, uh, let's actually get the key piece before I forget about it. I already got the key piece. I, it's difficult to tell what I currently have, but the key piece is indeed in that lineup, so that's good. With that, onwards we go to the super secret room, and then to the mines. We do have bombs for the mines door, so that's good as well. Eh, not really that interested, I suppose. Now, the one thing I just need to remember is not uh, failing to go into Gahana. That's really the main thing that I need to be wary of. And if I can manage to do that, then we're pretty much in the clear, I'd say. I would like to find another Guppy's Paw somewhere along the line. That would be a nice thing to get. I think that would make my life just a little bit nicer. There's those three coins that I was talking about earlier. But other than that, I suppose it doesn't matter too much if we can manage to get out of here alive. Occasionally, we should just let the 
the Dark Bomb actually pick up a Soul Heart or a Red Heart at a time so we can actually get some health from that, I suppose. But that's really the only thing. Uh, I'm gonna just... Oh, um, is that bad? That could be bad, actually. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> speaking of bad, I'm making some choices here, but don't worry about it. This is called Extreme Autopilot, and it is a dangerous way of life. But hopefully one that will ultimately get us many good things. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, if it's bad or not, just because... Yeah, that seems pretty good. I mean, I do have to be kind of close to him if I try to do it like that, but it didn't seem too difficult. Probably should have gone for the start up there instead of uh, whatever I just picked up, Mr. Squeezy, but again, it's, it's, it's all good, isn't it? We're not really in a particularly precarious situation right here right now, so I'm not too bothered. Let's go in here. Multi-dimensional baby showing up in the middle of the room, that's always appreciated. Another guppy piece, just in case we didn't have enough. Really? I did not expect that to actually work. <laughs> but fair enough, I suppose, I'll take it. Uh, this is mine's one, right? Yeah, or Ash Pit one, I suppose. Let's just leave. I mean... Yeah. Should probably just go on to the next floor, don't really need to be spending much more time here, but simultaneously. What if there's great things to be acquired? I don't know what kind of great things I'd particularly be looking for at this stage, but... Because realistically, the only thing that I would want right now is another R key, and I feel like that might be asking for a little bit much. But it would allow me to basically complete the character at that point, so it, I, I wouldn't say no to it, you know? I had some way to, like... Hmm, if I find a sacrifice room in the last floor and I have some way to teleport out of there, then maybe I could teleport out of the mom fight and then use the sacrifice room to go to the lamb. That does require... For one, a teleportation item, uh, which I feel is doable. Um, what's that? Teleport to an extra boss room with extra loot? Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I guess. Mom. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> right. That's a soft lock, I think. Because um, there's no... Doors that spawn here. I did read about that at some point. Um, all right. Uh, let me think. I have a way I can get around this. I don't know if that still works in Repentance. We're going to find out together, everyone. Oh, that's so stupid. And mysteriously, my game crashed. <laughs> it's really weird. Please. Oh, my God. Okay, well... That sucks. That actually, that really, that's really irritating. That is a soft lock that you can get if you use the Emperor question mark card. <sighs> On mines two, you get the boss for the depths, which is mother, and I cannot actually continue from that point because the door doesn't open during the mother boss fight, and there's no way to get out of this. So that is. Among the more irritating ways for a run to end. However, I simply cannot, I cannot leave this room. <laughs> so there you go. That's a way you can ruin your day with an Emperor card that I forgot about. <sighs> I am not happy about that. Either way, we did manage to get a lot of things done in this run. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to try a little bit harder next time to actually defeat Mother with this character because of unfortunate circumstances. Um, actually, what happens if I die? I have nine lives. This is gonna take a minute. Oh, do I even have enough bombs for this? I don't think I do. Oh, God. No, I don't have enough bombs for this. I have too much health. Ah! <laughs> Uh, because we already killed the bosses. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, we are missing one bomb. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
For God's sake, are you actually kidding me though? That is so frustrating. Yeah. We've done everything we could. There, there simply, to my knowledge, is not a way that I can get out of this room. I shouldn't have bombed those rocks! Oh my god! <laughs> Many mistakes were made. Maybe the dead cat would have been able to get me out of there. But I didn't think of that in time. Uh, the moment I saw Mom, I knew that I was in a bad place, but I didn't think about how I could get out of there in time, unfortunately. What are you gonna do? We did our best. Either way, hope y'all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll play another run with another character, because quite frankly, Lilith, I, I firmly believe this character is cursed for me. <laughs> I hope to see y'all there. Bye-bye.